Hey there, this is Danielle from Polygon. I am going to be playing a creepy, crawly, scary game today called Stairs. This is a Steam version of Stairs from Greylight Entertainment, Digital Tribe Games. And we are going to just jump right in, starting a new game right now. Ooh. Ooh. My name is Christopher Adams. Okay. Freelance journalist looking for a new story and someone to sell it to. Cool. Lately, I've been looking into three missing people, but with no luck. Valerie Berkeley, James Reed, and Jean Jowers Remens. Good names. Berkeley was allegedly kidnapped by the other two and is presumed dead. There was no ransom note, no exchange. All three simply went missing for three years. Until now. Police found the body of a young female yesterday in the old factory outside of town. Oof. According to my contact, it was Berkeley, killed by strangulation. So why would a kidnapping victim turn up dead three years later? Are Reed and Remen still involved somehow? Okay, it looks like we've got a nice, beautiful forest. That's not the way we need to go. Oh, that's good. Can we run? Yes, we can run. Oh, this is so peaceful. No stairs out here. And right, we can press J to open our journal. Oh, very nice. We can take some photos. It's just gorgeous. I guess this is sort of getting us ready for the scares. Oh, here it is. Oh, my lord. That doesn't look good. Got some good police tape going on there. Excellent. Okay, let's let's photograph the big door. Oh my goodness, what a what a picture! Also, nice shed going on over here. Oh, it's beautiful, just beautiful. Oh, how about that? Some graffiti. Let's go investigate that graffiti. What do you say? Okay. All right, that's probably enough. Oh look, nice graffiti, that's that's cute. It's happy graffiti. I always like that in a game. That's not where the game wants us to go, kids. Oh, more cool graffiti. Poser, I, I see Poser in there. Only Posers draw graffiti in video games. Look at that, that's delightful. Oh, here we go. Let me guess, we're gonna learn the crash button. Oh yeah. Yes, we are. Time to crouch, kids. Oh, creepy factory! Oh, looks like there's a journal entry. Oh, the music just got dramatic. Kind of reminding me of, like, the Twin Peaks. Oh, let me guess, there's a keypad on this one. I can't use it yet, because we're going to get the code later on, I'm assuming. Well, stairs. These are our first real stairs in the game, right here game called Stairs. Nice couches. Cool. Oh man, that music sure is ominous. Alright, we've got more keypad doors. How about this one? Can we go in here? Yes, we can. Oh good, no light. Oh man. That looks ominous. There was a meeting here recently. A meeting of the Minds. Meeting of the Lamp Decorators Association, perhaps. Oh no! Something bad happened to this one. Just sitting in a nice happy circle and then boom! Oh, I see. We can go on this side. Cool, cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody's in here with us. Or something is in here with us. Oh man, that's creepy. Okay, cool. Another down chair. Ooh, like the little control room in here. Man. I'm gonna guess something bad happened in this factory. It's usually how it goes, right? I probably should be taking pictures of some of this stuff, huh? But this just doesn't... Alright. Let's take a nice dramatic shot of the uh, sort of general area in here. I bet we're going down there at some point. So, uh, yep, pictures, pictures, cool. We took pictures. We're doing our job here as, as journalists. Oh, I thought maybe that was another door. Okay, cool. So we made it to this side. All right, who's, who's closing doors on me, man? Hmm? I bet I can move that in real life. But, yeah, okay. Oh, we're gonna go down some stairs. First we were going up the stairs, now we're going down the stairs. Are there, like, monsters in here? Or serial killers? Or... Oh, that lighting looks ominous. Oh, man. Oh, man. But also, this is open. Oh, I bet there's some story details in here. Oh, yeah, let's take some pictures of this. Whoa! That looks like 
evidence has been collected? What's this three here in the beer cans? Ominous lighting. A bad thing happened in here. God, they really like that uh, tray. Tray of food. That looks delicious. Yeah, okay. What are these? All right. I'm going to assume we need to take a picture every time there's a number on something because it looks like evidence was set up in a certain way, a particular way. Oh, oh, okay. Now we're getting the religious stuff. We've got <laughs> handcuffs and a Bible and a, a pen, it looks like. Okay, let's, let's take a picture of all of this. Okay, well, we're going down. Oh, here's another. Oh, somebody died. There was a death with a bloody hand. Okay, that's number one. So I guess if we piece it all together from our photos, we can see sort of what happened. Oh, now we're going to the real creepy place. Hold on to your butts. We're going down, down the stairs. Oh God, this is dark. Oh, the music. Oh, the music changed. Okay, good. That's excellent. Lots of creepy basement uh, accoutrements here. Um, yep. Really digging the atmosphere and the music. And the lighting. Oh, phenomenal! Looks like uh, some instruments of torture, perhaps? Oh, good, good stuff in here. Am I going to start seeing ghosts in my camera or something? Were you doing some fatal frame type stuff? Again, those trays. Why is it that basements are always so creepy? Is it because they're dark and they smell weird and we don't spend much time in them? Come to Polygon for the big philosophical questions, kids. Is it because basements are like the, the bottom of our souls? The things that we hide? The things that we don't want to see? I don't know. Nothing over here? Nothing over here but some weird rusty stuff. Cool. Let's keep going. Let's go deeper. Deeper down the stairs. Oh, those are the stairs in the uh, sort of the intro of the game here. Oh, now we're into real creeper territory here. Many sub-levels down. You know, PT is technically a game about stairs. Sort of. Saving the game. Oh, something's about to happen. <gasps> All right. I guess we keep going down. I think. That's probably best, right? Or worst. Oh. Running down these stairs, man. Oh God. Oh God. Oh Lord. I hear creepy breathing. Is Lisa down here? Lisa. Oh man, this doesn't sound good. This doesn't sound good at all. I think a jump scare is in my future. Is she hanging out in the vents? Oh God. Hello? Who's there? How can you hear me? My name's Valerie. I've been locked in here. You have to help me. She is in the vent. I, I want to help you, Valerie. Valerie! I'm coming for you! I'm in here! Whoa! Where is here? Here? The key to the door is in that safe. Find the combination and you can set us both free. I'm not free? Are you, are you trying to say I'm not free? Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? To the combination of his luck? Hmm. Alright, we can go in here. Dad has some kind of archive down there for his research. Research? There has to be something down there. Hurry! I, I hope there's something down here and it's not a, a monster or a serial killer. That would be my, my sincerest hope. Oh boy, I eat a lot of weird cereal in here. Weird cereal and crackers, it seems. Oh! Oh my god, what is this? Play pens? Is this the play pen room? Hmm. I don't know if I like the looks of that. Well, Valerie told me to go in here, so. I'm clearly gonna do what the vent girl says. She seems pretty smart. She knows about research. Let's see, anything? Uh... I'm not sure how long I've been here. 
Oh, poor Valerie. It has become a routine. He does the same things to me every day. Oh god, that sounds horrible. Shower room? Okay. Well, at least we can take a shower while we're down here. Get all that stairs basement grime off. So I think she's talking to me through the vents. This is the sports room with all the yoga mats. Hey, kids. Want to do yoga? Want to do a little jujitsu on the mat? Oh, there's a thing. This is the first, uh... Oh, here we go. Blood pressure 90 over 60 after Risperidone. We'll change diet. Hopefully vasopressors won't be necessary. Caffeine. Caffeine? <laughs> yes, uh, caffeine is a, a good question. But seriously, why, why would you do that in the sports room? Sports room is for sports, dude. Not for your weird experiments. God, all these yoga mats. Is this a yoga mat factory? Is that what they make here? I mean, that would be kind of interesting. Get your downward dog on with Dr. Crazy Pants. I really respect games that kind of like let the creepy just, let you just sort of marinate in the creepy, you know, without sort of making you face a monster or whatever. I mean, I'm sure maybe that'll happen eventually, but more notes. I renovated the room in the basement well before. If I'm going to do this, it should be done here, where I can be in control. Where I can be in control. Oh, good. Okay, that sounds creepadilic. But we're getting all our notes now. We're getting all our story story beats. Story beats are fun. Oh, we got yeah. We got. Friends came over to see her today. Stayed for hours in her room until I asked them to leave. She was getting a bit too excited. Huh. Not the best at spelling, is he? Um, well, this is horrifying. So this dude kept this guy. It's the kitchen. He spends a lot of time in there when he's finished with me. Um, so there's a lady. Presumably it sounds like a lady's voice, perhaps. Uh, being held captive in this really creepy, weird place. Uh, I can't do anything with that picture. Uh, where there's creepy bathrooms, where there are no mirrors. Good. Oh my god, there's feet. Okay. Just... <laughs> that was a tease right there, wasn't it? Kids. What's this? Pills. Lots of pills. Man, there's... This is just like pills forever. Uh, so the creepiest thing appear apparently is that this, this woman's friends came over and visited and then... Clinical Psychology, second edition. Good. Okay. That sounds very promising. Oh man, this looks like a creepy bedroom. A lot of books. Big fan of the books here. Oh wait, let's take some pictures, shall we? I keep forgetting to take pictures, but I see numbers and so, you know. Yeah, that was one for good luck right there. Okay, anything good over here? No. Oh, there's a thing to read. All right. Bookshelf row. C equals bookshelf row. F equals addition to book. Oh god, we've got to find a book. Okay. There's a magic book in here. Psychology of human action. Clinical psychology. Right there. Don't we want that? Right there? That's the thing we want? Hey girl, what's up? Oh! Okay! Good. Something uh, happening in here? Little can moving along there. And... Oh my god. Oh my god. I think that was trying to tell me this is the place to be or just weird things will happen periodically. Man, this is getting creepier and creepier as we go here. Hey girl. Alright, let's go back downstairs. Going down a lot of stairs. <laughs> So there's clues. Do we have to look for the clinical psychology second edition somewhere down here, perhaps? Oh man, listen to that music getting worse and worse. A lot of garbage in this basement. I gotta tell you, Dr. Uh, Creepy Pants's experiments sure are dirty. All right, I can't really do much down here, so let's go back this general area. Magnus saved 5,000. In order to operate the magnet, say 5,000, you need to set a number combination to open it. 
done by aligning the number dials with the corresponding letter to form a combination that is easily remembered. Oh, I wonder if the C, God, was it C and F? Oh man, what the hell was it? But that's five and clinical psychology. Yeah, I'm sure the, okay. I bet the books are part of the puzzle and how to figure that out. We just only know about two of them, C and F, I think. So we're going to need to find the rest of that combination somewhere in here. But I think that's how to figure out uh, that little piece of the puzzle there. Oh yeah, that's right. We can go down even further. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, I bet there's more puzzle pieces down here. All right. Back to uh, creepy long hallways. Nothing bad ever happens in creepy long hallways, right? Wait a minute, what? Do we just end up in the same place? Uh, I just went down the stairs and ended up here. Hold, hold on, hold the phone, kids. Did I just, okay, this is definitely the same place. Um, what? <laughs> the hell's going on in here? Okay. Do we have endless stairs? Is that where the name of this kind of came from? All right, we'll go back and we'll go down another level and see if it's the same thing. Because if we've got like a PT endless stairs, same place kind of thing going on, which we might, that would be pretty weird, huh? All right, we're going down. We're definitely going down. Oh man, I think it's the same, same story here. Doesn't matter how many times you go down the stairs, you still end up in this same very creepy, weird place. Oh man. Oh man. A lot going on. Yeah, this is definitely the same place. Oh shit, you guys. All right, I think the answers to our questions are Probably in Dr. Creepy Pants' uh, little office there. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Yep. Taking a picture of that. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, my God. Whew. Good. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. I saw something moving over there. Okay. Now I'm getting freaked out. Okay. Need to hurry. I don't know what he'll do when he finds me. Oh god. I don't either. I don't think I want to know. Oh sh oh god, we've got the classic uh oh god, creepy creepy man. Creepy man is here. We've made it to the next level apparently. Creepy man's next. Oh, God. Another creepy boiler room. Okay. Uh, I'm at that point where I don't want to go through doors. <laughs> oh, my God. Creepy man. Why would you... Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. It's not opening. I don't really feel alone down here. I'm gonna tell you. I feel very much in the presence of a creepy man. God, that is that is really freaky with those shadows. Okay. Back through the creepo boiler room. So I feel like there was also another place I could go to. Perhaps here? Yes. Okay! Got some more creepy stuff. Cool. A little reel to reel. Ah! He's here with me. Good. Um. Glad, glad you're here with me, buddy. Maybe we could shake hands. Maybe we could kiss. No? Maybe you don't want to kiss. Okay. Well, I I understand. I probably have bad breath after running around this basement. <laughs> no need to uh get huffy about it though. 
Well, it's, uh... Oh, good! More of this. More of these. That's fantastic. Okay, well, let's, uh... No, wait, that's where we came from. Yeah, okay, that's where we came from. Oof, he's still there, huh? Sure is still there. Very, very comforted by his presence. Super into that. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Creepy bedroom. Creepy orphanage bedroom? Dorm room? Alright, what's going on with this note? Still want you nicotine patches. Considering nicotine gone. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a good thing to consider, Dr. Creepy Pants. McGee. You're trapped here, just like me, Mr. Adams. Oh, God. How do you know my name? I never we told you. We need to help each other, Mr. Adams. Don't you want to help me? I want to help. Oh, God. I think the architecture is uh, subtly changing on me. A equals 4, D equals 7. That's good to know. Let's, uh, let's take a picture. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, so I don't want to spoil anything too much, but this game is really, really freaky, atmospheric, horror game. Uh, it's doing some really interesting things with the architecture. It's doing interesting things with sort of theme without kind of shoving anything down your throat. Uh, a little more of a subtle psychological horror game, but definitely a horror game. So this has been Stairs. I encourage you to check it out. It's on Steam. Thank you very much for joining me. Good night and good luck.